Hey guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video on my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the moon loading screen. There's something I want to show you guys that is very, very interesting. It possibly could mean moon is returning to Black Ops 3 Zombies. But as always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like rating. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more content on this channel. And let's get straight into it. So, not too long ago, Treyarch did a video called A Zombies History. And then within that video, they showed us a few different images. And this is one that actually popped up within the video. Now you can see uh, this is actually the moon loading screen, but it's different to the original one we've actually seen before. This is the brand new one, uh, but there are a few changes. So if we take a look and compare it to the old one, we can see that first off, Griffin Station isn't there. On the new one, Griffin Station no longer exists on the moon, which is very interesting. If we take a look to the left where the newspaper is, a few things are missing from there as well. You can't really tell what they say because the writing is very small, uh, but a few things have changed on the newspaper side. But if we go back to the pictures, again, we can also notice that Samantha, we can see her shadow casting over the moon, isn't there on the new one. Instead, we can actually see her on the right, uh, standing up with her teddy bear. Some people actually said that this was the giant robot they were built on the moon, but if you actually take note closely, you will see that that is just Samantha's shadow. You can also see, you know, her teddy bear hanging from her arm. So, you know, like I said, there are so many changes. If you didn't know, this is the old one up on screen, now the original one. You can also see in the original one, we have a part of Griffin Station down the right, whereas on the new one, we have Samantha holding her teddy. Again, um, there's no reminiscent or no, you know, proof that Griffin Station even existed on this new image that we have from Treyarch. So this is the new one up on screen now again, just reminding you guys. Um, it's very interesting. What does this all mean? Why on this new one do we have no existence of Griffin Station? Why is Samantha's shadow not overcasting over the moon? Why are there only two astronauts instead of four on the older one? And why are they actually walking towards us this time? You can also kind of link that back to this image that we got not too long ago from Treyarch. They gave us this image of a pyramid. We can see the exact same pyramid floating in the background on this brand new image. We can see the exact same pyramid uh, floating in the background right there. Uh, but it says astronauts underneath. And again, you can link it to this new moon image we've got because now we only have two astronauts and they are walking towards us. What it means, I have absolutely no idea, uh, but that's something we should also throw in there as well. So what does this mean? Why do we have this brand new loading screen with loads of things that have actually changed? Now, it could be as simple as you know, a lot of people have said that moon is coming back into Black Ops 3 as a remake, but I don't think it will be as simple as that. Uh, we also know that Treyarch said they will be returning to the original zombie storyline with the DLC. So Shadows of Evil will not be carrying on. That's just going to be a single standalone map. For the DLC 1, 2, 3, and 4 for Black Ops 3 Zombies, we're going to be carrying on from the original Black Ops zombie storyline. And that ended on Moon. So that means for the start of Black Ops 3 Zombies, we're going to be carrying on from Moon. So I definitely think we will be seeing Moon within Black Ops 3 Zombies. Whether or not we're just going to be playing on this map, I'm not too sure. Maybe we'll start out on it and we'll teleport to somewhere else. Maybe we'll just see a cutscene of our characters doing something on this map and then we'll kick in somewhere else. I'm not too sure if they will be bringing back, you know, just a full remake of this map. I think it will be quite boring. Although it is one of my favourite maps and I would love to play it again. I don't feel like them, you know, remaking first Darius, which is now the giant, and also Moon as a DLC will be appreciated by everyone. And, uh, you know, I think Treyarch like to branch out a bit more and create new maps so i definitely think we will be seeing moon again in dlc one whether we actually get to play on there or whether we see it in some kind of cutscene, it will be very interesting to find out this could also be linked to the giant we know that the giant has a whole new storyline it's kicking off after derice went ricked off and teleports maxis and samantha but for the giant ricked off and actually walks out of the teleporter himself and shoots himself in the head which we know will actually change the whole future of uh, every map past Doris. So every map that got released after Doris no longer exists, which also means Moon doesn't exist. Uh, you know, the characters never actually went on the moon, which could also explain why Griffin Station isn't on our new loading screen. Also that, you know, Samantha's shadow even isn't cast over the moon. Um, basically, this could also be saying that Moon doesn't actually exist which could be very interesting how is this going to work then um let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below do you think we're going to be playing it as dlc one we'll be getting this as a cutscene 
uh, we'll be playing you know for just a couple of seconds maybe it's kind of like our starting area similar to like our moon where we start out on area 51 then we teleport up to the moon maybe for dlc what dlc one we'll be starting off on the moon and we have to teleport to uh, somewhere else or maybe it's linked to the giants where they're telling us that moon no longer exists griffin station wasn't actually built and we also know that when we do play Doris, we can actually see griffin station if we look at the moon on Doris, you can see three little dots or two little red dots uh, which actually symbolize or resemble griffin station maybe they could also be linking it to that but let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below guys are you interested i really can't wait to see what we are getting for black ops 3 zombies drop me a like rating if you have enjoyed let me know your thoughts you know i've tried to explain it as much as i can for you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below drop a like rating if you've enjoyed let's go for 1115 likes subscribe to my channel for more videos from me i've been black ops amazing and until next time peace out